okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel so we are going to get a message for my virgos that are dealing with a <laughs> a capricorn yeah capricorn all right so this is a general reading capricorn can be anybody to you guys okay um take what resonates leave the rest it will not resonate with everyone guys all right anybody interested in a personal reading my information is always down below thank you to those who donate to the channel uh thank you for those who have subscribed it is very much appreciated virgos we are in virgo season happy birthday to anybody whose birthday it is drop your birthdays down below i might shout you out if i can remember <laughs> okay but let's jump into this reading. So my Virgo is dealing with a Capricorn. It's the energy between the two. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo is dealing with a Capricorn. What is the energy? I do hope that everybody is well. All right. Let's do one more. Virgo's dealing with a Capricorn. What is the energy, Spirit? What is the energy between the two? Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. A card for now and a card for going forward. Somebody feels like they did something too fast here. Can I get a card? Thank you. Relaxation. Or maybe somebody is doing something too fast and they need to relax here. I don't know, like Capricorns like to work and Virgos like to work. I'm interested. When do you guys find time to have a relationship? Because do you have the relationship at work? Like, <laughs> give me a card for going forward. Someone needs to relax. Relaxation. Treat yourself. Oh, you had two coming out. Hmm. I'll take him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> In a knowing, yeah, I'll take him. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get a romance card for those of you that this is a romantic situation. What I am actually going to do, guys, because we have a third card here, I'm going to take the middle card as the advice, okay? We'll see more of what it's about later on. But, um, yeah, that's where I would have put the advice. So, discernment. So, your advice may be that you need to use your discernment in whatever this situation is. So, give me, we do have magic out here. So, what is the relaxation card? For those of my Virgos that may be dealing with this Capricorn in a romantic situation, Worth waiting for. Okay, relax. Is this for someone that might be relaxed? You know, they're coming back. Calm down. What is the relaxation card? Thank you. Reconciliation. <laughs> Calm down. They're coming back. It's okay. <laughs> it says someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, they could be to returning to your life while you just in a good space, Virgo. Could be that. You could just be in this energy where, yeah, hey, you're just doing you, right? Loving on me. Not me. Loving on you. Yeah. All right. What is the magic card? What is the magic card? Did something flip? Yes, it did. Oh, Okay. It says, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Who sings that? I'm hearing, could it be magic? Mm. Oh, it might have been. Uh, that might be a take that song. Damn, that's, that's going back a bit, right? Could it be magic? I hope nobody ain't questioning if somebody was doing magic on them. And even if they was, right? Even if they was. Do you know what? For someone here, I don't know if I get the image of somebody paying somebody for something. Someone may be getting, just getting tarot readings on you, right? Could be that. Or got, I don't know. But 
whatever the magic is surrounding, whatever it is representing, whatever energy it's giving off to you. Spirit says, it's over now. If this was, we'll get some cards because I don't want to guess what the magic is, right? It could be different for different people. But you are safe. You're safe now. What is the relaxation and the reconciliation? Virgo's dealing with a Capricorn. What's the energy here? Relaxation and reconciliation. Thank you. <laughs> Who's waiting around for this Taurus? I mean, this Capricorn, not Taurus, sorry expectation I feel like somebody's waiting for someone and spirit wants them to just relax it's almost this energy of as soon as you let something go it, things might start moving you know they used to have a saying when I was growing up right they used to say watch pot don't cook you know and that was we as kids you know you hungry and you know, your parent or your grandparent or whoever is in the kitchen and you can smell the food and you're just standing and hanging around the kitchen and pretending you're getting a drink of water and <laughs> you're just really trying to wonder when the food's going to be done. And they used to say, hey, you watch the pot, it's not going to cook. Magic is safe for you to love. See energy here? My Virgo's dealing... Wow, okay. <laughs> What's on a distant horizon? Great fortune. So with the magic and it is safe for you to love, you have false person and main male. This energy I'm not keen on, Okay. But we'll get some cards because what I'm seeing, like I said, there could be somebody here coming in for some of you. It's not going to be for everyone. This is why this is why sometimes when people say it's a general reading, it really, really is a general reading, especially like if there is a few people watching this. Right. For some of you, someone here may have been trying to do some kind of magic, maybe some kind of manipulation, or maybe they're coming towards you to try and do that, letting you know that it's safe for you to be with them. Or, But I don't know if they're being genuine, right? Now, this could also be here that someone is being false because they actually want to be the main person in your life, but I don't know if they are speaking up. Discernment is the advice here. Use your discernment in this reading. So let's get some cards. Six of Cups and the Four of Wands. Yeah, for some of you, I don't know, this is somebody maybe from the past here that seems to be stuck on you, right? For some of you, you could have been married to this person or maybe they're just stuck on the good times that you guys had. The Four of Wands, these two people are having fun. Judgment. Some of you have freed yourself from this person. Or again, the judgment can talk about reconciliation. But wow, some of you have freed yourself from this situation. So for some of you, this Capricorn, well, that is Capricorn energy. But I don't know if this Capricorn was toxic or just had some ways or behaviors about them here. Or they are just kind of a little bit obsessed on your energy right now, Virgos. Yeah. So what is the reconciliation and the expectation from a Virgo's dealing with a Capricorn? Thank you, Spirit. Getting stuck. Six of Pentacles. Maybe wanting to come in and give you something. What is the energy here? Thank you. Three of Pentacles. This is about working together. This is about building something. I'm also hearing this is about building trust. 
The Queen of Wands coming out sideways, though. I don't know if this person is a little bit intimidated by you, right? Now, they could be somebody else around them, this Queen of Wands energy coming out sideways. On top of that, Three of Pentacles could be a blockage. Let's see what comes out underneath her. I see the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. What is the Three of Pentacles? Five of Swords, anxiety. Um... For some of you, somebody regrets putting you in a third-party situation. I, I'm also getting this energy here of defeat. But there's also this energy here of there's someone here who can't seem to release some kind of memories. Or Five of Swords is usually an energy of, yes, I'm hearing the word betrayal, okay, but it's usually energy here of um, somebody does something at the time. And it may have seemed fun. It may have seemed funny, right? They may have felt like, yeah, they were getting away with something. Hey, this is someone who tells lies to get an outcome that they want, right? This is someone who usually doesn't care who um, gets hurt or gets in the way of whatever it is that they're trying to achieve here. Now, it could be just someone that regrets putting you in a third-party situation. What is the Queen of Wands here? Now, the Queen of Wands is confident. She's beautiful. She's a go-getter. She's motivated. I'm hearing she is unstoppable. I don't know if this person for... <clears throat> you may have a lot of options around you now as well, actually, um, Virgo. Or Crosswatcher. I'll take it how it resonates, right? Seven of Cups is about options. But Seven of Cups is also about confusion and illusion. I want to clarify this. I want to clarify. What is the three of pentacles and the five of swords? Three of pentacles and the five of swords. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. The, what is that? The Hierophant? Wow. <laughs> Oh, okay. No, we're on Capricorn, right? The Hierophant in reverse. This is someone who wasn't committed to the situation. Like I said, for some of you, I don't know if you was married to this person. If you was, for some of you, this person stepped out on this situation. Yeah, they may have been talking to other people online. Some of you were dealing with someone who was selfish. But the, you see, the strangest, the people are weird, right? <laughs> because the strangest thing is, it's almost like for some of you, all right, yes, you may have caught this person. And you may have chose to be single, right, with the Nine of Pentacles. But it's almost like as soon as you step into single mode, all of a sudden this person is stressed and has anxiety and is worried. I don't know. For some of you, I don't know if this person thought that maybe you would chase them. What is the Hierophant in reverse? Hierophant in reverse. Now, for some of you, if this person um, maybe got married to somebody else or is married to somebody else, I don't feel like they're happy there. What is the Hierophant in reverse? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Give me one more. What's the Eight, What's the eight of Cups? I see the eight of wands. Some of you, this person wants a new beginning with you. What is the ace of cups? With the hierophant in reverse. Thank you. King of pentacles. Now they want to commit. Now they want to come in with a stable offer. Queen of wands and the seven of cups. They want to reunite. It feels so good. Look at that. Seven of cups with the three of cups. That's the ten of cups. Now somebody realizes where their happiness lies. Where they could have been emotionally fulfilled. Yeah, but I'm telling you, some of you, this person had you in a third party situation. <laughs> What's behind it? Eight of wands. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, look at that. Now they want to come back, but you've already cut this person out. 
Why do people behave the way they do? I don't know. <laughs> Spirit said, I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Blocked. At a crossroads because they want to come in with an apology. Now they want to come in and do the right thing with a justice card. Now they want to come in and tell the truth. Something about the past. But have they done too much? The magic, false person, what is this? What is this magic and false person energy? We have the Hierophant in the upright this time. And look at this. I always say when we get this card, right? I said to you, even if it was some kind of a dark magic or something to, I don't know. Spirit says it's over now. It's safe for you to love. I always say in this card, this is the ancestors laughing. <laughs> you can't get to Virgo now. You'd have to walk past me. Virgo's all the way up them stairs and through that door. In the light. And if you want to get to Virgo. Someone's, I almost wanted to say over my dead body. <laughs> Which would be funny because the ancestors are already passed over, right? Hierophant. Show me more. What is this false person and magic energy? Page of Cups. <laughs> and this is my When Pigs Will Fly card. See that little pig up in the corner with the wings? Oh no. Now the Page of Cups is about romance and an idea. It's about a very flirty energy. It's also very immature though. But I don't know, like I said, I don't know why for some of you, your ancestors are like, uh-uh, no. The only thing you're going to be able to do is dream about that. What is the Hierophant? The Knight of Cups. <laughs> so this is somebody wanting to come in and take things to the next level. Now for some of you, <clears throat> like I said, you know, Someone here may be hiding their feelings, hiding how they feel, right? They may just be romancing the idea. They may want to take things to the next level, the Hierophant, right? Knight of Cups. This is someone who may want to invite you out. What is a Page of Cups? Yeah, the Page of Cups, this is their wish fulfillment. It's something that they, they dream about quite often. Something that they visualize quite a lot. Star card. Now, this could also be, this is how they see you, Virgo. They could see you. Some of you could be in the public eye, right? I'm hearing rising to stardom for some of you. But for some of you, this could just be that they see you as someone who is very healing. Or they want to heal the situation. Let's clarify. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. What is the Hierophant and the King of Cups? I mean the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I mean the King of Cups. Yeah, someone's not expressing themselves. They're not wearing their heart on their sleeve. This is someone who's keeping their emotions to themselves. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, hold on. What is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? The Two of Swords. Okay, one more. So it goes dealing with a Capricorn. Can I get one more on the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Swords? I think I know what this is though. But... All right, so that's the truth. That was the King of Swords. And we have the Queen of Swords over there. Knight of Pentacles in the... Um, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, I was going to say. For some of you, look at that. The Knight of Pentacles, the Moon, and Seven of Swords, and the Chariot, and the Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Uh, for some of you, I don't feel like this Capricorn can be trusted. See, with the Hierophant, like I said, for some of you, I feel like this is your ancestors. You have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is not putting the hard work into something. 
you have the two of swords, an energy of being at a crossroads, somebody being somebody um, being blocked. It's even your ancestors saying, hey, for someone here that, hey, don't work with this person, right? Keep this person at a distance. Keep them blocked. Keep them at a crossroads. Knight of Pentacles, which is slow and steady, wins the race. It almost gives me the energy here of somebody offering somebody something, but not really delivering on what they are offering. We have the Moon card, which can talk about secrets, definitely with the Seven of Swords here. Something being hidden. Somebody trying to get away with something. Chariot. And the Six of Wands. I don't know if you're having some kind of victory here, Virgos, right? Or the star card and the six of wands. I don't know. Like I said, some of you could be in the public eye somehow, some way. This is being recognized by the public. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but okay. I don't know if this person wants to come forward because you're having some kind of victory. Maybe something isn't going right for them. I don't know if for someone here that you just don't see or you don't know that whatever this person is offering you is actually not going to go anywhere. So it almost feels like an empty promise. What is the page of cups and the star card? The sun and the four swords. Seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. Now, the sun card is about illumination. It's about happiness. It's about feeling good. And then you have the four swords. I don't know if somebody here is sick. I'm also, I don't know if somebody dreams about maybe having a child with you or trapping you that way. Ooh, you're definitely going to have to use your discernment. Huh. All right, what is the discernment card? Give me three cards. That goes in with a Capricorn. Maybe somebody feels like they got trapped with a baby. I don't know. Ten of Pentacles coming out here, right? This could be about money. This could be about finances. This could be about stability. Hmm. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This could be about something that you have, Virgo, or something that you are doing. Virgo's dealing with a Capricorn. What is a discernment card? What is a discernment card? Thank you. Page of Pentacles. I'm telling you, be careful. Somebody doesn't want to trap somebody with a child. Page of Wands. This is going to seem like good news. Some of you may be good news, right? Don't don't get it wrong. One more for the discernment. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, King of Cups. Told you I saw the King of Cups. High Priestess, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, and the Three of Cups, Death and the Rebirth. For some of you, somebody does want to have another beginning here. They do want to reunite here. Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles out here, but the High Priestess, I don't know if there's, I don't know if, I don't feel like somebody's saying something. Maybe they're just thinking about sending you a message. Eight of Swords. There's different energies here. So I'm going to leave it here, guys. This is what I have if you are dealing with a Capricorn. Again, my information is always down below, but Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe, love and light.